My Southern Opinion. Welcome back. My name is Eddie Steady. I bring you battle rap breakdowns, predictions, recaps, hip hop news. How y'all doing today? How's your day going? How's your weekend going? Hopefully, y'all washing your hands and wearing your mask. Getting ready for Labor Day coming up Monday. RBE. Woo! Just finished watching RBE. Lift his soul. Reload it. And it was fire. Round of applause for RBE. Did your thing. Let me uh, go and bring you the last three battles. Starting with. O-Red versus B-Magic. O-Red definitely had his T. His voice didn't go out on him. He came and he cooked. He whipped it up. He stirred the pot. He got it going. And he didn't let up. O-Red every single round was good. Be magic. Be magic. Dropped the ball first round and choked. He was cooking too. He was cooking first round. But all that shit go out the window when you choke like that. Come on, man. Choke bad. Bad. When you choke that goddamn bad, I don't give a damn what you say afterward. Or what you said before that. But I tell you what, it was fire though. Yeah, it was fire. But you choked. And he choked bad too. The fuck wrong with him? B Magic choked the first round. Second round he took off. He acted a fool second round. That Cobra Kai bar, that was fire. B Magic went off second round. The Red Scarlet, I like that bar. Oh, Red sweep that boy. 3 0. I don't think B Magic won around. Uh, if you try to give him the second, O Red got this battle 3 0. Gentleman's 30. No body bag. Now we go into QP versus Ill Will. Now this is the match I was waiting for. This is the match I wanted to see. Ill Will versus QP is a straight classic. I really enjoyed it. When that hits YouTube, that's going to be one of those million view battles. Easy. Maybe in a week. Because you're going to want to watch that two or three times. It went hard, man. QP first round, he went off. QP is freaking fire. This is that vintage QP. He went off first round. He did his thing. And I got him winning the first round. It was first round is just as good. This is a debatable first round. Very debatable. It could go either way. Now, second round. I got it will take in the second round clearly. So we got one one going into the third. Third, I got Will taking this battle. And he take the battle home. Ill Will wins this battle. I had QP uh, I think for my prediction going into the battle. That's not what happened. Ill Will won this battle. QP did very good. Everybody want to see QP again. His uh, promotion is through the roof. Everybody talking about they want him as a co-host on Angry Fan now. He should just be a regular regular guest on the Instagram Live. Them two goofy niggas can do their thing. Um, yeah, QB, he doing his thing, man. He definitely will get another plate. I wouldn't be surprised if, hell, URL call him too to try to take him away from RBE. 
Now we finna get into the next battle, the last battle of the night. Big round of applause for Charlie Clips, man. Charlie Clips was vintage Charlie Clips and he went in this battle. It's kind of like that Farrah Funeral battle. He went in. I'm talking about you could tell this meant a lot to him. And he was he wrote his ass off. And he will be back. With a performance like this, he will be back. RBE, uh, he's a star, man. Let me just go and say that now. Charlie Clips is a star. Ill Will. Ill Will's a star, man. He, he, um, ain't nothing, ain't too much you can say about that, man. He's not going nowhere. He good at what he do. T-Top, another one. They're good at what they do. Well, Charlie Clips is just a flat out bona fide star, man. He, uh, he's the highlight of this battle. Um, the, he showed levels. Big K could not mess with Charlie Clips round for round. The stuff that Big K raps about, he rap good. Charlie Clips shows levels. He does so much more with the scheming and the comedy and how he get in and out of flow patterns and, and the way he can rap. He can jump in and out of pockets. Charlie Clips is too much. You got to really know how to rap rap to be fucking with clips. Round one, clips goes off. Uh, Big K went first. No. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was Big K that went first. Yeah, Big K went first. So when he got done, clips come on. And he just overshadows whatever Big K says, man. It's just, it's, it's, a, it's a difference. Second round, Clips. First round, he had a lift his soul scheme. You know, Big K didn't have no schemes, nothing this first round. He just straight rapping. Charlie Clips got a mean scheme where he's saying all the rappers that's on lift his soul. Second round, he has a queen of the ring scheme. Where he says a lot of women that's in Queen of the Ring. He had Vague. I think he said Babs. Uh, he said all the names from Queen of the Ring. A bunch of female names. The Shikari Richardson bar. Crazy. The setup for that. Crazy. Charlie Cliff's four bar setups are nasty. Like I say, he really went in writing for this battle. Round three, uh, while Big K is rapping, you can hear some people in the crowd saying, 3-0, Clips ain't even rap yet. It's just you could tell by the material you knew Clips' third round was going to be better. And sure enough, after he he get through, uh, Big K talking about uh, time, man. Go ahead, y'all go, y'all go ahead and dick eat. Nah, bro. His 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 rapping is better, and you gotta be uh, you gotta have a little bit more sportsmanship than that, man. You come into the black people culture as a white man, and then want to act like people are against you. Ain't nobody against you, man. If you cooking, you gonna get your respect. Hey, you better look at a ward. You know what I'm saying? Don't be doing that. When you cooking, you did good. When when you was doing all the boom and doing him dirty, everybody was praising you, wasn't they? They didn't try to flip it on you and be like, oh, no, nah, he just trying to tear a black man down. No, nah, you had a man fired. Man can't get no work now. You done put a nigga in an unemployment line. And then you want to complain. The hell you talking about, man? You done put a nigga in the unemployment line. Now he ain't working. Man probably got kids, a family, whatever. Now he can't battle rap. He can't do a hobby that's something of his that he want to do because your white ass that exposed him. And, 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 when, and when shit get tough, then you want to holler about like black people done turn their backs on you. Motherfucker, you in our culture. That's like a, a black man going to Queen of the Ring. I mean, uh, King of the Dot. 
in Canada, traveling out there to Canada, you out there somewhere in Canada or surrounded by white boys, and then when you rapping, saying some shit that you usually would say on URL, and you talking about white people, and white people in the room, and they, they looking around, and that shit don't hit, and they looking at you crazy, that's like saying white people against you. You know what I'm saying? And and you in they league. That's like you go into country music and you make a song, you singing your heart out, and the white people ain't feeling it, so you say it's racist. Oh, if I was white, they'd be feeling my song. Motherfucker, you in they culture. You got to be damn good. That's one thing. If you want to do something that's in another culture, another race, you better be damn good at it. That come with it. That come with it. So, you want to be in battle rap, you around all these black folks. You better come on with it, man. You got to be better than your opponent. I know you didn't think you was better, your, your material was better than Charlie Clips. So, stand down, man. Stand down with that shit. You know your material wasn't better. Bonnie Godiva, shout outs to you. I said it on the other video, and I said I knew she was going to get Battle of the Night. Get that girl her crown, Battle of the Night. I told you. Shout out to Dallas, Texas, man. Grand Perry. Street Hymns. You know what I'm saying? That's the home. But, Bonnie Godiva be cooking, man. I think they lined that boy up, man. They lined that boy up. He had no business going against no Bonnie Godiva. She, he could have had some competition that was a little. Bonnie Godiva is a, a fucking wolf. She, uh, she don't play around, man. She know what she's doing. She needs somebody like forty bars or something like that, man. Hell, a, a well-known name in battle rap. Somebody that can angle, do everything. That boy there wasn't punching, man. He wasn't punching. Them haymakers wasn't hitting. You just rapping and rapping and rapping, man. Where the punch at? Where the damn gut check at? When you gonna slap a nigga upside the head? All that rapping. No hard hitting to it. Like he slap boxing. RBE, this was a good card, man. I enjoyed it. Now I'm finna get to this Civil War. You know, they dropping battle every hour on the hour. It's a real, it feel good to get that little notification, that little bell that come on. Thoughts about RBE and this Lift His Soul today. It was good. Battle of the night. Let me think. Battle of the night. What was battle of the night? Uh, maybe clean paper and ill will for sure. That was battle of the night. Performance of the night. Performance of the night has to go to either Bonnie Godiva or Charlie Clips. He really um, stood out to me. Um. What I rate this event out of a 10, I'm going to get this an 8. I'm going to get this an 8. I don't know what happened with the Chef Treads, but they supposed to be um, rescheduling that. And RBE's next event is going to be in October. I don't know what city, though, but they did say in October, which is right around the corner. Last takeaways for uh, how did y'all like the event? If you've seen it, did I call everything right? <clears throat> did I get everything right? Am I capping? This is my Southern opinion. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll be right back to you with the Civil War video. 
I may do them uh, two at a time. I may do them individual. We'll see. But we'll be back. My Southern Opinion.